Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. And I'm very excited to do this book club update. Now, if you don't know, what you don't know is a lot. We are over 1,100 followers over on our Facebook true crime book, a true crime book club um, that I run with my good Judy Mel. And we are over 1,100 uh, followers or members of the group over there. So please, it's all linked below. All you have to do is go check it out, follow it, answer a couple questions, and then you're a member. That's all you have to do. And um, I think on Goodreads, our group is over 2,300 and the threads are still, you know, alive and thriving over there. So it's just very, very exciting. This has kind of turned into something that Mel and I never thought that it would. And um, so it's really, really fun. And Mel has started live streaming on Saturdays. Um, the first one she did in the morning and the second one she did in the late afternoon. And both times I couldn't do either one. So um, I'm going to try to hop on though with her one of these days. And like she's doing crochet and serial killers. Or, crochet and killers, I think is what she's calling it, which is so great because she crochets and so she's just getting on a live stream and she's guesting people and they're telling stories. And so we're doing all kinds of really fun stuff with the book club. And um, I'm so happy for her because she's just like loving it. And um, so yeah, may maybe one of these days she'll have her own booktube channel, but she's always said no to that. So anyway, I want to get in this. First of all, one of the things that Mel and I have discussed is that we need to change the date for the live stream for the Night Stalker. So if you don't know, uh, what you don't know is a lot. Again, we are currently reading The Night Stalker by Philip Carlo. Um, it is very long. It is very, very long. Um, I'm really struggling getting through it. I've been reading it for like two and a half weeks now, and I'm still not done with it. I'm not even like halfway through it yet. So it's really good. It is very, very good, but it's very factual, and it's all evidence-based. Um, and I don't know anything about the, like, the Night Stalker, so I'm kind of like listening to it. Sl I'm listening to the audiobook. I'm listening to it slower than I normally would because I want to catch all the information. And it is, like, there is crazy. And then you hear about how he grew. It's like the first part is, like, the killings, and then the middle part is, like, how he grew up. And I'm in that right now. And then I have to think that the last part is going to be about the court and all that kind of stuff and how he gets, um, you know, like, how they find him. Because that's, like, a big part of what people are talking about. So I've been seeing that over there. So don't ruin the magic, okay, of the Night Stalker. But anyway, and then we've recommended some movies. Uh, I think there's one that was out in, like, 2016 with Lou Diamond Phillips. And there's a couple other ones. So anyway, that we're reading the, about the Night Stalker this month. And we're doing A Summer of Serial Killers. Which proves to be a little bit more difficult <laughs> than we thought it would be, okay? So if it was up to us, we would pick The Son of Sam. Because I really want to read about The Son of Sam. Um, and then we would also... But there's not really a great book out there that you can find at the library and on Audible and Goodreads. Or, I mean, on Google and Amazon and Barnes and & Noble and thrift stores and all this kind of stuff. So we try to find books that are across the board. And then we really wanted to read something about Jeffrey Dahmer. But there's really nothing out there that's other than like an hour and a half audiobook. There's not great books out there about Jeffrey Dahmer, good, you know, retelling. So I don't know if that sometime comes out then we'll do that in the future but we haven't we can't find anything so if anybody has recommendations for either one of those let us know um we have picked who we're gonna read for august so uh, mel knows a lot about the serial killer i know nothing about the serial killer except for reference to in other books but for oh what was i gonna say about the live stream okay so in the live stream the live stream is supposed to be um the 28th okay well my birthday is the 29th of june this sunday is my husband's birthday so wish him a happy birthday in the comment section below please he's gonna be 21 no he's not <laughs> he is he's st he still looks good right though so it doesn't matter it doesn't age you know when people say age is just a number <laughs> you say that and then one day you wake up and you're almost 48 and you're like no age is a number no it really isn't i think it's about how how you feel inside are you living your life to the best of your ability like you know are you having a good life on a day-to-day -day basis i really think that's what it's all about i don't really mind getting older this turned into a peterisms video i don't really mind getting older but sometimes i just wish i could stop time you know i just wish we could stop time right now and just enjoy where we're at and things wouldn't have to you know we wouldn't have to get older our dogs wouldn't have to get older and all of that so i think you guys relate to that but it's not so much to me about the wrinkles and the hair and all that kind of stuff. I don't care so much about that. I care about, uh, you know, like time's going really fast and there's a lot of things I would want to do in this world still, you know? So anyway, speaking of that, <laughs> I'm going to enjoy my birthday, okay? And we're not going to do a live stream on the 28th and we're going to actually push it to the 5th. Now, if a lot of people have issues with the 5th because it's the day after 4th of July, let me know in the comment section below. Let us know over on the Facebook group and we can move it to the following week, okay? I have no problem doing that. 
now we can move it to the 12th and that's fine you know um or we can combine the next two together you know sometimes we have to do this it's difficult we try not to but if we have to we will so just leave it in the comment section below what you would like us to do okay now let's get into the july book are you guys ready so this is kind of what happened we were mel and i were both like we're reading jeffrey dahmer that's i mean we had already decided that right and so i started going in we were trying to because we typically pick somebody and then we go and look for books and whatever books are like seem uh like like they've gotten great reviews but then they're also available at libraries and you know amazon and audible and you know bookstores and things like that you know half price books barnes and noble whatever um those are the ones typically like audible um like uh amazon and uh libraries are the three that we look at the most um because so many people still use libraries i love libraries so much i love the smell of libraries <laughs> so anyway it reminds me of being a kid i got off on a long tangent so i'm just gonna so this was gonna be um the month of jeffrey dahmer okay so anyway we um started to look and there, there are no good books about jeffrey dahmer like i said so we instead are going to read are you ready i th just threw it out kind of like randomly and it's just not a serial killer that i'm super interested in and i really do not know a lot about him but people have asked us to read about him for the last two years or year and a half that we've had the true crime book club so we are going to read in the month of july about ed gein and if you don't know who ed gein is ed gein is actually the person who they modeled the alfred hitchcock movie psycho after so we're going to read this book about ed gein but then we're also going to do um like a maybe we're gonna try in july to do like a wa like a watch along on the facebook we are we're gonna watch psycho like the old one and we might wa even watch the new one did you ever see that with anne hesh anne hesh anne hesh i think it is i really like the new one too i mean it's not as good as the old one but it's still good so we're gonna watch those and then there's also a couple movies about ed gein um and so we're gonna find those and recommend those over there i don't know what those are yet so anyway the book that we are reading is called and his picture is on the front and it's like um <laughs> well here i'll include it right here i gotta pull it up hold on a second so i can screenshot it and i don't forget to put it in it is called deviant the shocking true story of ed gein the original psycho and it is by harold Schechter. now this book has gotten a lot of praise and reviews on it and it originally came Came out in 1990 uh, October 1st of 1998 it's a Halloween book um, and it is oh shoot I just got out of it what happened hold on a second let me pull it back up do you guys ever find that Goodreads is so slow um, it is 242 pages and it is available everywhere across the board so oh I just got out of it again please don't tell me I did that so here it is I'm gonna read you guys the synopsis uh, for Deviant, the shocking true story of Ed Gein, the original Psycho. Murder was the least of his crimes. The truth behind the twisted crimes that inspired the film Psycho, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and the Silence of the Lambs. From Harold Schechter, America's principal cr chronicler of its greatest psychopathic killers, the Boston Book Review, comes a definitive account of Ed Gein, whose ghoulish crimes stunned an unsuspecting nation. The year is 1957. Photographs would show him across the country. Uh, would show him across the country a slight midwestern man with a twisted little smile a man who had lived for 10 years in his own world of murder and depravity here depravity here is the grisly true story of ed gein the killer whose fiendish fantasies inspired albert hitchcock's i love albert hitchcock Alf <laughs> i love albert hitchcock movies so much rear window is my favorite but i also love the man who knew too much and the trouble with harry that became one of like my late in life uh favorite movies i used to watch them when i was a kid with my mom we'd make peanut butter sandwiches and we would eat uh apples and we would put salt on it and that's what an orange juice and that's we would we would watch the the albert hitchcock movies <laughs> anyway the country uh whoa, 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 wait the year is 1957 photographs would show him across the country a slight midwestern man with a twisted little smile a man who had lived for 10 years in his own world of murder and depravity 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 <laughs> You say, you say tomato, I say tomato. Here is a grisly true story of Ed, the only a question you'd ask in a true crime book club, right? Is it depravity or is it depravity? <laughs> it's depraved. I don't know why it doesn't sound, it doesn't sound right either way to me right now. Okay. Here is a grisly true story of Ed Gein, the killer whose fiendish fantasies inspired Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, the mild-mannered farmhound bound to his domineering mother, driven into a series of gruesome and bizarre acts beyond all imagining. In chilling detail, Deviant explores the incredible career of one of the most twisted madmen mad men in the annals of American crime and how he turned a small Wisconsin farmhouse into his own private playground of ghoulishness and blood 
From the heartland of America comes a true story more horrifying than any movie or novel, Harold, Harold Schechter's acclaimed true crime chronicle, Deviant. Now, I will tell you, it currently has, let's see, uh, 5,834 ratings and a current rating of 3.90. Um, I will tell you that when I was looking on Amazon, the, the reviews and the comments were things like, uh, this book is absolutely, like, it's very, supposedly very violent. So, if that's a huge issue, like, I want to put that trigger warning out there. Like, a lot of what we read with the serial killers, you know, is very triggering for people. So, this might not be the book for you. Please search it out first. Please Google search it before you decide to join along with us. I don't know excuse me, if that book is going to be the right book for you. Um, so saying that, you know, maybe this is a month to skip. And I know that a lot of people are like, I don't like to read about serial killers. It's very, very dark and things like that. If you want to participate and you don't want to read about each, like, you know, gruesome thing, there are a lot of good podcasts out there as well. Um, or you can just kind of read some articles and maybe the articles won't go into, you know, such detail about what happened. And that way you can still participate. Um, and we would love for you to join every month. But I do understand that some of these things are like, you know, triggering for people. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing for the month of July. I don't really know anything about Ed Gein other than seeing the movie Psycho, um, which I, I loved that movie back in the day, the shower scene, of course. But I mean, you know, Anthony Perkins was just fantastic in that. And Janet Lee. And if you don't know, Janet Lee is actually, um, what's her, Jamie Lee Curtis's mother. So Jamie Lee Curtis, who's in Halloween, her mother was Janet Lee, who was in the movie Psycho. So if you didn't know that, there's a little tidbit that you know now. And uh, six degrees of separation from Ed Gein. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Let me know if you're going to participate in the comment section below. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.